Hi, I'm Dr. Mark. Today we're going to uncover the mystery of how your sleep actually affects your weight. That's right, how much you sleep and how well you sleep in part determines how much you weigh. Why do people who sleep less gain weight? There are a variety of reasons. I think the, the main one that we think about is that there's a likely disruption of these neurohormones floating around in our body called leptin and ghrelin, and these, these things actually regulate our appetite. So uh, increased ghrelin levels can occur, and that makes us more hungry, and so people will oftentimes turn to eat if they're not getting enough sleep, and leptin actually is not more of an appetite suppressant, and that actually sort of reduces uh, with sleep deprivation. If you're sleep deprived, then your hormones get mixed up, you're hungry, and the next thing that happens is you're sitting there with a gallon container of ice cream, and that's what puts on the pounds. That's a big contributing factor, it is thought, yes. Getting more sleep is the answer, absolutely. So targeting and trying to achieve that seven to eight hours. Do sleep apnea and weight go together all the time? Most folks think about obesity, increased weight as a risk factor for sleep apnea. And so, and, and it certainly is. When you have um, obesity, there's increased uh, fat around the airway uh, that can cause mechanical compression of the airway and increased propensity to have sleep apnea. In turn, when you have sleep apnea, it really disrupts your sleep and oftentimes reduces the amount of sleep that you're getting and therefore can increase your risk for obesity. On the flip side, some patients who get their sleep apnea under control with treatment are able to get better sleep at night and can have more daytime energy, allowing them to eat less and lose weight. In some cases, weight loss does result in improvement, uh, maybe not cure, but improvement of the degree of sleep apnea. And the general rule of thumb is that a 10% weight loss will result in a 30% improvement in the degree of sleep apnea. I think the good news there is that if you have sleep apnea, you can have some measure of control over it. Yes, there are other risk factors other than obesity, but certainly that is the, the biggest reversible risk factor that, that folks have. So if you lose weight, you will certainly not only help your overall health, uh, but also improve likely your sleep apnea. For Fox 8, I'm Dr. Mark. Dr. Mark is sponsored by the Cleveland Clinic.